Hello and welcome. So this question is, how can a newcomer to Espiritismo slowly learn and connect with the practice? Before I get into that, make sure you like, comment, and follow on this video. And before I get into that, I want to mention, if you need help in achieving success, spiritual growth, breaking down blockages, anxiety, depression, or improving your relationships, especially love relationships, go to the link in my bio and book a session with me now. There you can also get a free masterclass. So this is a really good question. So how can a newcomer to Espiritismo slowly learn and connect with this practice? Number one, my number one suggestion is to read my book that just came out, in, I think February this year, Espiritismo Puerto Rican Mediumship and Magic. It's available on Amazon, Barnes and Nobles, IndieBound, everywhere books are sold. It's available in Kindle ebook format as well. In fact, many people, many espiritistas, many mentors, many teachers have told me that they have now taken this book and are now using it with their students as a teaching tool. And many have also told me that they learned a great deal in this book. So this book is really going to give you a really strong foundation into the practice of espiritismo. That's number one. Number two is start to learn Puerto Rican culture. The truth is many people think that they know a lot about other cultures when in reality they do not. You want to learn a lot about Puerto Rican culture because culture influences spiritual processes, traditions, practices, right? If you were learning um, Eastern spiritualities, you would be learning as well Eastern culture. So it's very important to learn Puerto Rican culture, especially if you're not from that culture. Which brings me to another point, which is really important to understand, is that Puerto Rican culture is one thing and Puerto Rican spiritual culture is another. Puerto Rican spiritual culture, as well as Puerto Rican culture, has influenced each other. However, they are two different things. So simply because you have experienced Puerto Rican culture does not mean that you have experience or knowledge within Puerto Rican spiritual culture, which is somewhat different. But lastly, and most importantly, and most difficult, is to find a proper mentor that you can apprentice with. As you may or may not be aware, there are very, very, very few proper mentors of Espiritismo of Mesa Blanca. Like, comment, follow for more.